Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Do you want to connect Pipedrive to your WordPress site? This guide will show you how to integrate Pipedrive with WordPress, allowing you to synchronize data and automate tasks between the two platforms. So guys, let's get connected. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you can have the full experience. So. The first thing guys is to go ahead and connect to your Pipedrive account. Click on log in and through there you will be able to go to the marketplace. Go right here to the marketplace. This marketplace will allow you to find multiple basically uh, platforms or apps that you can connect to. If you search for WordPress as you can see here, you will not be able to find it. That is why, for this video, we're not going to be doing the connection that you basically know, which is connecting an app with another directly, but we are doing it with a third party app, so it can be with uh, Zapier. So let's search for Zapier, which is very helpful. So let's go here and click on Excellent and Authorize, and that will take us to Zapier, which we have to connect into our account. So let's go here, continue with Google, which will speed up the process of signing in. Let's continue, and just like that, we have connected Pipedrive and have the access now to our Zapier account. Let's give them everything that they need, and then load, and then install. Once this process is done, now we can manage our Zaps. So let's go here, and as you can see, this is Zapier. If I went to the apps, in here, and I search for Pipedrive, as you can see, the connection has been made. Let's test that out. Click on here, test the connection. It should give us this successful. That's nice. Now, the second thing is to go ahead and add here WordPress. So let's search for WordPress. And as you can see, there it is. So we have to make another connection. So go ahead and click on WordPress. And this will take us to this page. So here we simply have to go through these. So loads up here to access your WordPress account. So this is what are required. Enter your full publicly accessible WordPress URL with leading slash HTTPS or HTTP. Do not include slash WP admin or WP login.php. If your WordPress site has a custom login URL, please do not include the custom URL value. For example, use https example.com instead of https example.com slash login as your base URL value. Then you have to include here the username or email you use to log in. If one does not work, try the other. Then a password. So this is the necessary thing that you need to add. Go to WordPress. Make sure to have your domain copied. So there it is. Let me just visit site and copy this. It has to include HTTPS, so let's do that. Here we have to add this one. And then we have to add our basic level information. So here your username. Then here the password. Once it is done, click on yes, continue to WordPress, and you will be able to connect WordPress with Zapier, then test the connection again, just as we did at the beginning, and then the connection should be made. Now, there is where the work should be harder for us. Well, it's not harder, but you need to actually determine what kind of work you want to do between Pipedrive and WordPress. Because basically Zapier is a third party app that can make automations. So instead of connecting Pipedrive to WordPress, which is not an available option, we are going to do something that triggers something, for example, it could be either on WordPress or in Pipedrive, like a trigger, and basically an action that comes right after that. For example, if a deal is created on Pipedrive, the deal should be imported into our WordPress account. Or if there is a new customer or login in our WordPress account or website, a new, this customer should be added also into our Pipedrive account. Or something like that. So let's do that. I'm going to click on Create and click on Zaps. After that, make sure to write the basic uh, trigger that you want it right here so you can write here like a prompt and this prompt will be generated with AI functionalities so it can make it look as trigger in action so here 
let's write for example um, let's think of something interesting whenever someone uh, or there is new customer on WordPress add it to pipe drive accounts and just like that let's go ahead and send it and let's wait for the couple to give us the best thing so there you go you can automate adding new WordPress customers to your pipe drive account here is how you can build your zap WordPress new user creates person in pipe drive this is exactly what we wanted so let's do it let's add WordPress here and let's add pipe drive in the second option and then we have now to make sure that we are signed in in both accounts so here I'm gonna choose accounts it's been done successfully and here these are gonna be basically uh, added by WordPress themselves so we can skip all of these we can give it a value but this is not like necessary then click on continue and we can skip the test and it has been done now again we have to log into our uh, WordPress account in, uh, in case you have done it throughout the first step that we showed you at the beginning you will have your account already connected you can do skip test again and everything should be good now the only thing that is basically like uh, needed is to have this symbol right here the gray symbol over WordPress once it is done you will be able to click right here on publish button and this should be done then make sure that you have enough zaps which are gonna be right here in the bottom let me just show you here so these are enough tasks we have a hundred so basically if the number of customers that we have per month for example is more than a hundred then only the first hundred people that are recruiting throughout our website are gonna be tri triggered and they're gonna be added into our pipeline account otherwise if you have if, or if you want to save all of them then you have to manage your plan and try to get a higher plan that has multiple tasks which will help you to actually uh, include more tasks which will help you eventually have more people added into your pipe drive account so this is necessary in case you would like to have more people in your pipe drive account so this is very very important to note and also in case you would like to have uh, multiple zaps now for me i have an old account which has limited zaps uh, nowadays i think they have made an update which can allow you only to make five zaps so in case you would like more zaps then also you have to upgrade your account to a premium plan and that's it guys for today's video if you did enjoy it make sure to leave a like and to subscribe to our channel and if you do have any more questions or problems make sure to leave it down below in the comment section see you guys in the next tutorial